and today we'll be talking about how we can make our own lip tint slash cheek tint. So a few days ago, I went to Sephora. I basically fell in love with Benefit's uh, Benetint, which is a cheek tint slash lip tint. Uh, but it was like something like $36, and there was no way I could afford it. So I decided to go home and see how like I can make my own version of it. So you'll need food coloring. Here I just have a uh, powdered food coloring, but you can use like the little droplet ones too. Uh, yeah, any type of food coloring as long as it's red. Red, very important, unless you want to dye your cheeks green or blue. But yeah, anyway, food coloring, uh, rose water. I don't know if any of you guys have uh, like smelled the Benetton or not but it basically smells like roses and rose water smells like roses and it's really cheap I got mine at the grocery store for like a dollar fifty um, and there's like a whole bottle and you can also use the rose water as a toner so that's like a bonus um, you need glycerin to sort of moisturize your cheeks and lips while they're being tinted um, yeah so glycerin you could get this at like shoppers or any drugstore uh, yeah, if you don't have it, that's also okay. It, your Benetint mix will kind of be kind of liquidy. Um, this also kind of lets it hold, hold its shape because it's also kind of gooey. Um, you'll need little bottles to store it in. If you don't have these little bottles, uh, I guess you could just use like a, any other container. But like, you don't want to be making like a liter of this because it's pretty strong stuff. Um, you can like mine. I got this from like my contact lenses. These little containers are awesome. I got mine at the dollar store and yeah, you can buy like eight of them for a dollar. You need Q-tips and paper towel because it's gonna get kind of messy. Yeah. Okay, so we're basically ready to begin. So here I have my food coloring. Here I have, a, well, like an empty container. It's really important to put some paper towel beneath it because food coloring stains, man. Okay, so learned that the hard way, like all over my hands, like everywhere. But okay, anyway, so yeah, like if you're just using like those normal food coloring things, the droplets, you don't need to do this. You just need to like drop it in. But I'm just going to put like a tiny, tiny little bit with a Q-tip into my little bottle. Um, because I made one already, this is gonna be for my friend. Hopefully she'll like it. Yeah, so now that that's in, you're gonna put like a little bit of glycerin in here. Should be good. Yeah, should be good. Okay. So we are going to mix, 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 mix. Yeah, see it's really, really strong, right? It, like, So now the rest will be rose water and like depending on how like how strong you want it to be how saturated you want it to be uh you'll just like dilute it accordingly for me i don't really mind it if it's a little more strong because i can always dilute it later if you don't have rose water just use water <laughs> and if you don't have glycerin just use water so basically what i'm saying is you can also make this with food coloring and water I know, it sounds like a little grade student, grade student joke, but like it works, I'm telling you. So yeah. Okay, so just mix it evenly. Mix, mix, mix. Okay. And we're done. So when it's done, it's gonna look like this. Um, yeah, it looks kind of dark, but it really, like when you put it on, it's like a really nice color. See, I'll put it onto my hand over here. So you just use a little Q-tip. If you wanna make it even more like the Benetton one, all you have to do is get like an empty nail polish container and then just pour it in and you'll get like the entire feel of it. But I, I'm just using a Q-tip because I'm kinda I'm just, I don't know, I don't need that kind of stuff. Okay, so as you can see, we're gonna put a little bit on and you can build up the color as you go. Oh dear, I don't know how to like work this along with the camera. 
so it'll look like that like I'm wearing it right now it looks pretty natural right um the darker you want it to be the more you put on it like hold on so if you really want to go all the way and make yourself look like a clown then by all means go for it but you know if you go too far you can always just rub it and then sort of make like make it die down a little yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video um, I'm probably gonna post another video on how to make the posy tint thing you know like the pinker version of Benetint because I'm also figuring out how to do that I don't know if you guys think this is kind of silly then by all means tell me but I'm kind of having fun doing this